for your haircut? All right, let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I groom this dog, leaving its hair longer, longer than I usually leave most of my dogs, um, using the comb attachments and just using minimal uh, scissors. Now this dog used to be in a long, long coat, very, very long. So uh, last time I did cut it down, you can kind of see the shape. So this is the shape. I use a comb attachment on the top and then I leave the sides a little bit longer. But I have a feeling I'm going to be cutting that shorter because he keeps getting knots in here and I had to cut a lot out so there's pieces missing. And then I use my comb attachment on the leg. I use a longer comb attachment and then I just use the scissors around the feet and around the face and the private areas and just tidy up the edges. So it's, it's kind of a quick clip. So what I do first is I do the body or the back and I use a number C. This is a comb attachment and the blade is a number 30 and um, this attachment just goes off and on and has these springs here and you just clip it on. They come in different sizes too but this is a C. It leaves it pretty long. What does it say? Um, 7 8th? 7 8th of an inch? Actually it's pretty long when you go um, in the direction of the hair growth. If you go opposite it'll make it shorter. So I'm just going to do his body. So basically I'm just going down his back and I, not a lot is going to come off this time because I cut a lot off last time. But I go uh, from the neck, the top of the neck, or the top of the head. Actually, sorry, where the head ends, I go, I take it from there. I just have to take up the news. And I go right down to the tail. And then I just kind of skim off the sides. I'm not going into the belly. More or less like a, like a terrier clip or a schnauzer clip, but not exactly like the line. So I just kind of come down. So I'm not going around. I'm just coming right down just to blend in the sides. So that, that's pretty easy to do. I get all the neck hair as well. So I'm starting uh, at the back of the skull. And then I just lift his ears up and I get all that hair off all the way around his throat. And I actually stop at the breastbone there. You can feel it right there. Anyway, I think that's what it's called. But anyway, you'll feel the bump and you can stop there. And then I'll turn him around and do the other side. But I'm not going to show the other side. I'm just going to show you the one side today. And the back end, I take off that area there. And I go right to the bend where the leg bends. So I take it all off the rump there and kind of blend in these sides. Then I move on to the legs and I use a longer comb attachment. This is an E and it leaves um, the hair one inch. So I'm just going to clip the, down the leg. I clip to here. I don't go in the bend. I don't want to follow the leg. I'm going to leave a little bit of hair there. I just kind of stop right here at the knee and kind of taper off just to fill that in because if you cut it, it'll look you know, skinny and everything. And then also I don't clip the back of the hawk. So I'm basically taking off the top hair and the side hair and then the inside as well. It's hard for me to show you the inside, but I'm going to get that later. 
And now I use the same uh, size comb attachment, number E, for the front leg. Now this dog has been washed and, and blow dried and combed out. So it doesn't have any knots. Hopefully it doesn't have knots because if this comb attachment hits a knot, it can fall off. So you have to be careful. So what I do with the front legs is I kind of just do the front. I don't clip down, um, I don't clip the back. I kind of just skim it off. I'm doing the front here and the sides. Okay, now I'm going to use my scissors and I've already clipped the pads and I clipped the nails. Now if you're new to my channel, I do have videos of clipping the pads and the nails. You can go have a look and I have a lot of different grooming videos. Now it doesn't like me lifting this front leg too much so hopefully he'll stay still. So what I basically do is I trim around the foot first. So I just go around the foot. It doesn't have a lot of coat because I just clipped it about four weeks ago. Just to give you an idea. I just trim it and then I can put the foot down. And you can trim it around that way. Doesn't need much off the foot. Up there. And then I just gently lift up the leg and he has more feathering on this side here just even everything up and I leave the back of the leg fuller. I just use my scissors and go straight up there. And a boy! So overall I just have a look at it and go Straighten that out. I'll straighten it out after because my camera is right in the middle there, so it's hard for me to maneuver my arms. But you get the idea, though. And then I go into the back leg. Since he's standing so nice, I'll just do this part first. So I kind of just go straight down here. I leave a little bit of fill in there. Go around the paws. What a good boy you are. What a good boy. Standing still for me. And I just tidy up the lines here. Just leaving that there. So I just kind of leave a little bit of hair here just to make it look nicer instead of all, like if I cut that short, look all skinny and where it would look. So I give it a little bit more fullness. Like that. And then I go on to the skirt. If you want to call it a skirt or the side furnishings, whatever you like to call this. And I just tidy the ends. So I just switch scissors because these ones are shorter and actually they cut a little bit nicer. I think the other ones might need sharpening. But I just basically just tidy that up. Go straight across. There. Then I go on to the head. Just trim in his bangs. at that with the thinning shears. And what I do with the head is I use the same size um, comb attachment for the head because I like to leave one size uh, longer on the head than I do the actual body. Um, you know, just to make it look a little bit better. I do that with all my dogs unless it's short all over. So I just uh, follow the growth here. There's not much to come off. And actually, I'm leaving the hair on top of the ears. I'm going to grow that just so the ears look thicker. So I'm not even going to cut that part. So 
So just go down the top knot like that. And I do the sides of the cheeks. And the beard. Basically the whole face. I gotta take off the noose there. It's right in my way. So I do the whole face with this. Again, I'm just using the same size comb attachment that I used on the legs, which is a E, and it leaves an inch. Okay, that's all I'll do with that. Okay, so I'll take my thinners and just tidy up this hair between the nose, just so it doesn't stick up, any kind of hair. Actually, I'm going to trim the eye. Are your eyes open or closed? I can't even tell. It's so black. I'm going to trim just around the eyes because uh, the owner likes to see his eyes. Oh, this is a Tibetan Terrier, by the way. I don't think I said it in the beginning. And it used to be a show dog, so it did have full coat. And now he's into pet coat. So he has a beautiful coat, a lot of hair here. I'm just using my thinners there. Get some of that hair in the middle. I think you got alfalfa sprout on top. That's gonna grow. <laughs> Got a sprout on your head. Alrighty. So then the face. Come here, sweetie. Let me see. Such a good boy, you know that? I just trim any uneven hairs I see. And get my thinners and just smooth it out. That hair there is bugging me, so I'm going to cut it. There we go. And I'll just get these hairs away from its mouth. These brown stained hairs. Just so they don't go into the teeth. And it looks much nicer. Right? Yes, it does. The good boy. Shorten that chin hair. It just gets into the water. And looks cuter short too. Yes, you're a cutie pie, you know that? Yep. And then I'll just tie to the ears. Actually, the owner wants them a little bit shorter. Oh. It's okay, you don't like that? It's okay, I know. Some dogs are sensitive their ears. There we go. These scissors are really nice if you're interested. These are the Kenshi uh, Scorpions. I think they're oh, wait, 7 inch. I like using the shorter scissors. It's like a more, I'm in more control. If they're shorter but I do a lot of small dogs so I like the shorter scissors instead of the 8 inch. I like them. Alrighty. You know what? I'm going to cut that hair up there. It's bugging me. Just a few of them. Here's the face. And now the chest, where I, I left it a little longer here. And, um, just to leave a little bit of fill there. But I'm just going to trim the end. He had a lot of knots there last time, so I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit. So I do just a little bit fuller, like a bib.
And of course I trim under the tail here. I really don't want to show you the rectum. Nobody really likes to, to see the rectum. But I'm going to trim it a little bit more after, but make sure that's clean. I did the groin already, the pads, the nails. Let me know if you like this style and um, it's longer than most dogs get. It's easy, maintainable. And uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.